How is Ramadan different from other months? Can we do good and bad deeds during Ramadan like any other month? Do you know that faith increases or decreases? How can we correct ourselves during Ramadan? How come we see many evil actions and sins committed in Ramadan? For if the devils are chained up, that wouldn't happen. In this video, we will answer these questions, insha'Allah. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The month of Ramadan is a great time for good deeds, barakah, worship and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this month, rewards are multiplied and bad deeds are more serious than at any other time. The gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hell are shut and the sinner's repentance to Allah is accepted. Be thankful to Allah for the season of goodness and blessings He has bestowed upon you and for the means of bounty and various kinds of great blessings He has chosen for you. You should make the most of this blessed time by performing acts of worship and forsaking haram things for a good life and happiness after death. A sincere believer spends his whole life obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, in Ramadan he has even more motives to do good. His heart is even more focused in worship and he turns even more to his Lord. Alhamdulillah, we have a long month to do lots of good deeds. It is not a long time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ayyaman ma'dudat, a limited number of days. Time passes quickly. Days fly by like moments. We welcomed Ramadan, then goodbye. And now we welcome Ramadan again after a short time. Thus we should strive to fill this month with good deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will appreciate and benefit us on the day we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can we correct ourselves in Ramadan? The best way to correct ourselves in Ramadan is to evaluate our shortcomings in fulfilling our duties or our shortcomings in not avoiding haram desires. It is important that we set ourselves straight so that we are able to have a higher level of faith during Ramadan. Faith increases and decreases. By obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it increases and by disobeying and sinning it decreases. We should take stock of ourselves and recognize our shortcomings in doing acts of worship such as praying in congregation, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, paying attention to the rights of neighbors, relatives and Muslims, spreading the greetings of salam, encouraging the good and forbidding the bad, urging one another to follow the truth and be patient and steadfast in doing so, being patient in avoiding evil actions and doing good deeds, and accepting the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with patience. Regarding sins, what should we do to correct ourselves? We should take stock of ourselves, our sins, and our whims and desires. We should stop ourselves from persisting in that, whether the sin is great or small. Whether it is a sin of the eye by looking at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, listening to haram or walking to the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't approve, or consuming things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, such as riba and bribes, or any other unlawful means of consuming people's wealth. Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to forgive me? Even though I did some horrible things, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving. We should never forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his hands during the day to accept the repentance of those who sin at night. And he extends his hand at night to accept the repentance of those who sin during the day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا أَوْ يَظْلِمْ نَفْسَهُ ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ and whoever does evil or wrongs himself but afterwards seeks Allah's forgiveness, he will find Allah the most forgiving, the most merciful. Who is the smart man? The smart man is the one who takes stock of himself and strives to do that which will benefit him after death. And the helpless one is the one who follows his whims and desires and engages in wishful thinking. Assuming that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him regardless of what he does and that he doesn't need to strive to good deeds.
What are the best things that I can do during Ramadan? The month of Ramadan is the month of great gains and profits. The smart trader is the one who makes the most special occasions to increase his profits. So make the most of this month by doing lots of acts of worship, praying a great deal, reading Quran, forgiving people, be kind to others and giving charity to the poor. But, but shaitan, shaitan will stop me from, from doing this. this. Shaitan won't stop you because in the month of Ramadan, the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hell are shut. The devils are put in chains and a caller cries out each night, O oh, seeker of God, proceed. O oh, seeker of evil, desist. Which, Which month, month is, is the best? best? The best month of the year is Ramadan. Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on him, said, The month of Ramadan is superior to all other months, and the last ten nights are superior to the other nights. Why, Why is, is Ramadan, Ramadan superior, superior to, to all other, other months? months? This month is superior to others in four things. Number one, in it there is the best night of the year, which is Laylatul Qadr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. Wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr. Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wal-ruhu fiha bi-idhni rabbihim min kulli amr. Salamun hiya hatta matula' al-fajr. So worship on this night is better than worshiping for a thousand months. Number two, in this month was revealed the best of books to the best of the prophets. Peace be upon them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان The month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran A guidance for mankind and clear proofs for the guidance and the criterion between right and wrong The messenger of Allah peace be upon him said The scriptures of Ibrahim were sent down on the first of the month of Ramadan A Tawrat was sent down on the sixth of Ramadan Al-Injil was sent down on the 13th of Ramadan. Al-Zabur was sent down on the 18th of Ramadan. And Al-Quran was sent down on the 24th of Ramadan. So all the divine books were sent down in the month of Ramadan. Number 3. In this month the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hell are shut and the devils are chained up. How come we see many evil actions and sins committed in Ramadan? For if the devils are chained up, that wouldn't happen. Evil actions become less for those who observe the conditions and the etiquette of fasting. Or that the ones who are chained up are some of the devils, namely the rebellious ones, not all of them. Or that what is meant is that evil is reduced in Ramadan, which is a proven fact. If evil happens at this time, it is still less than at other times. Even if all of them, the devils, are chained up, that doesn't necessarily mean that no evil or sin will happen. Because there are other causes of that besides the devils, such as evil souls, bad habits, and the devils among mankind. Number 4. Ramadan is a time of many worship, some of which are not done at other times, such as fasting, Praying Qiyamul Layl, feeding the poor, I'tikaf, Sadaqah, and reading the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to fast, pray Qiyam, do acts of worship, and avoid doing evil. O oh Allah, forgive me, my parents, and the believers, when the Day of Judgment will be established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.